there's an argument to be made about how performative social media has become, especially now we have the Black Lives Matter movement is again gaining a lot of momentum. And some people feel like in some cases, like these companies or even people are utilizing this and posting posts about these charity, like the charity they're doing, or even any type of donations they're doing, they're posting it simply because they simply because it's not going to be on social media. And an argument can be made like if there was no social media, would they still be doing those actions? Like, what do you what do you think about that? Nadia? do you feel like some people wouldn't do certain things if there was no social media? That is a rhetorical question, because absolutely, I would definitely agree that even celebrities of the world, they wouldn't post as much involvement that they've been, uh, you know, doing in terms of charity or in terms of any type of platform or any type of movement that they're involved in like they wouldn't be posting none of that if they knew that they were not going to get any type of viewership any type of comments any type of input when it comes to that because obviously when you post something like that of course on the informational aspect you want people to know that this is the type of part of, that this is the part of movement that you're 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 a part of and you also want other people to get involved but deeper than that i feel like the situation is more so about again how you look how you're perceived you know if you have shown that you have donated to x amount of charities people are going to start looking at you like okay this person is a giver this person is very charitable i can you know rely on this person because they're very helpful with my cause or very helpful with whatever other cause and at the end of the day it's really a business i look at it as a everybody wants to look like a certain way on social media it all plays into that whether they want to deny it or not and i think it's unfortunate that it can't just be being about you know charity being about helping others being about you know the true movement that you're about because even right now like you said black lives matter everybody's so irritated and frustrated at the fact that certain people aren't posting anything certain people aren't being vocal certain people aren't being a part of the movement a part of the the whole conversation so is it about the amount of posts that you get or the amount of engagement is it about how you look or is it more so about truly what your where your heart is at and how much you really are involved because if it really was down to it everybody would be on the street if it really mattered to them they wouldn't care about how many likes they would get they wouldn't care about the 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 you know, the posts. But like you said earlier as well, it's all about the information. At the end of the day, the social media has helped to push the narrative a lot. It's, it's helped to push the information worldwide. So I understand why, even as a celebrity, you are obligated to say something, not just out loud, like on the streets, but on social media, because it pushes the information forward. You have a platform that other people don't have. So you need to use it to your advantage for the benefit of the people. I get it. But at the end of the day, you have to really think about how far this can go. Because at the end of the day, like I said, are people doing it for the likes? Are people doing it for, um, to avoid the backlash? I think that was a bigger discussion as well. People are saying that, you know, certain people are not posting anything or yeah. they are posting because they're afraid that people are going to say, Hey, you weren't part of the conversation. So therefore you're not really a part of the movement. Yeah, that was, That's what I that was my that. friend group for you. Yeah. It was all about backlash. It was just like, you're not posting about it. You're not, you're not talking about it. And like someone in our group just put a little side comment in during our conversation about it. And I was like, I feel like you definitely would not be adding that comment if there was a black individual in this group chat right now. Yeah. And I was like, so I was just like, you need to take that comment and keep it to your goddamn self and change that comment. And I was just like, because it was just unnecessary. And like, a lot of the things I saw was, I know a lot of people, especially through high school, they might have changed. I don't know. Haven't seen them in over three years. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just like, I was just like, mm-hmm. you used to be this massive person say, like that was raci- ra- uh, racist. And I was like, are you serious? I was like, and now you're posting all this. And I was just like, where is this coming from? And I was like, maybe you did change. And if you did, that's fantastic. All to you. But at the same time, a large part of me was just like, you're just in this because you're not, you know, you're going to get in a backlash for it and you want to be a part of like this movement kind of thing, but you're not actually a part of this movement. You know, like a lot of people were like saying like a lot of, um, sharing like all their resources and stuff. And then other people were just posting the black screen. And I'm like, then I got mad at one of my friends. I was like, why did you just post the black screen? And I know you haven't said anything. Mm-hmm. in our like in our chat you haven't said anything to me you haven't said anything to my like best friend Kay, mm-hmm. who is a black woman so i was just like 
I was like, what? So I got very, like, uh, I'm very, like, touch and go with that because it's just like a lot of people, I'm like, okay, they're in it for the likes because I know them. They're a very, like, selfish person. Well, at the same time, I'm like, they also could have changed. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They may, they maybe this is something they really care about. Right. right? So you're, it's just like you're stuck mm-hmm. there. Like you're saying, like, it's a very rhetorical question. Yeah, exa- yeah exactly. Because even just looking at that whole situation and with the blackout twos or whatever, you at the end of the, like it at the end of the day, it's so hard to even judge somebody's attention because ultimately you can't. I don't know what's in your head as much as you don't know what's in my head, right? I just have to assume whatever it is that it is, and some people are, will assume the best, some people will assume the worst, some people will just go based off their experience and i feel like there's space for both sides to like both sides are right like i don't like we don't know what your true intentions are but i think the best thing is that you have all these like things you could donate to or whatever and now we could really see if you're really about it and it's not about us seeing from the outside what somebody's doing but it's about what the person is doing on the inside like how do you really feel when you're posting this like are you putting in the work are you trying to help out and i think ultimately it's really about how the person feels themselves like that's what i I was talking about with a friend i'm like at the end of the day like for any of us here like we we should not worry about the way people perceive what we do but we should be worried about our intentions if your intentions are pure and you know you have good intentions it doesn't even matter how people perceive what you're trying to say because that's what we see a lot just this mob mentality of like oh you're trying i don't like the way you said it whatever whatever but if truly you're attempting to do the right thing then that doesn't even matter man like, yeah. Yeah. yeah like yeah, and even right. if you see like the toxicity in someone you just almost want to give them the benefit of the doubt it's just like oh maybe they're lacking education maybe they're doing this but at the same time you're like you're sitting there and you're trying to like like i said like give the benefit of the doubt but you're just trying to be like okay well, like, my intentions on this are, like, pure, we're trying to be good. So, like, hopefully, you just hope that they have the same good intentions, but you never truly really know. At the end of the day, you can't satisfy anybody, because if you post something, somebody's going to ma- get mad about how you posted it. If you don't post something, somebody's going to get mad about your silence. So, I feel like whatever's in your heart, if it is placed there and you want to speak about it, please do. But if you feel like you don't want to broadcast how you are emotionally and mentally being affected by this, you have no obligation to do so. Absolutely not. And I feel really, really annoyed when I see people being irritated by other people's silence while at the end of the day, do you really know what they're doing? Maybe they're outside protesting and that's why they didn't post today. How about that? You wouldn't know that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's really, really immature or premature Mm -hmm. rather to go about judging others about whether they posted or did not post. At the end of the day, it's a movement. The uh, the most positive thing about the situation is that information is being shared from just not one country, but to multiple countries where people hear other people's voices on a global scale. Beyond that, I feel like every other little thing is just really politics and people want to look like they're really part of the movement while they're not. So that's my view on that. 